challenge not accepted. <coughs> oh, my God. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. And today's video, I'm going to make a hot sauce. I have this Filipino chilies fermenting for three weeks now and it's time for us to make a hot sauce. So let's do this and please join me. Yay! So I have a big bowl and a strainer and I'm going to dump my fermented chilies inside. I want to strain out the fermentation brine but I will be using some of it later so I won't toss it out now I'll toss them in a blender for later next I'm going to take a handful of garlic cloves and crush and peel them There is no need to get fancy here, as they are all getting blended later anyway. Now it's time to heat up the olive oil or you could use also canola or any flavorless oils. First I'm going to saute the garlic just until golden brown. Then I am adding in some fresh pineapple from here in the Philippines. Fried pineapple and garlic will make this hot sauce extra tangy and slightly sweeter. Now just for fun, I'm cutting up two small tomatoes to toast in the mix. Now it's time to blend. I toss in the fried pineapple, then the tomatoes. And for extra flavor, I am adding in a half cup of this minced fried onions. This minced onions have a strong burnt taste and will be a great addition. Now I am tapping up the mix with one third of my fermented brine water. Now I can finally put the top on and give it a blend. You can blend as smooth as you desire. This is also the time to add in more oil, brine or salt depending on your taste. Now all I have to do is get a funnel and some jars and fill them up. Okay guys, here's the finished product that I I made for the fermented hot sauce. So, hey, Goryu, <laughs> I want you to try this. Please come over here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so this is it, huh? Yeah. I hope you like it. Just try. <sighs> so, let's see. Challenge not accepted. <coughs> oh my God. It's uh, 
It's freaking hot. <laughs> I know you put, I know we've been fermenting those tiny, super hot Filipino chilies for three weeks, but it's like, you can tell, you, can, you got that weird taste from fermentation um, that it's just like an extra kick. So they're, they're like super hot, but then you get that fermentation taste, but then you also have that, I don't know, it's like burnt onion, burnt, uh, maybe ar onion and garlic. Um, I'm, I'm really glad you put in that, that, what is that? That garlic. Dried, dried, dried onion. Yeah, that dried onion stuff. I don't know. The whole mixture is just, uh, it's definitely not too hot. I can't take too hot, but it's, it's got a kick, but it's, uh. I don't know, it's really good. What do you think? Yeah, I, I, I tried it earlier and then yeah, I just she don't... She can't want... handle hot stuff, yeah. but I can't either, but this is not... On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say like a 6. It's not too bad. Oh, okay. But it's also got like a massive... For me? Like that one, <clears throat> that one we made the other day uh, on live video. Not hot at all compared to this. And this has a lot more flavor. It fermented, these fermented for three weeks and... The texture. Yeah, she added the, those dry onions and pine, fried pineapple. Yeah, it's really good. Thank you so much. Good job. Good job, thank you, Dudum. <laughs> okay guys, thanks for watching. And if you like this kind of video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. So, bye. <laughs>